Hello and welcome. We are live today, Wednesday evening. As you can see, on the right hand side, we have a new team of the week with a justified James Ward Prowse star man as he single handedly seems um, intent on keeping Southampton in the Premier League this season, which is always a good thing. We also have um, a Dybala and a Thiago Silva um, 88 rated cards, but we will have a look at that in a minute. First of all, we'll see what's live, what's new, what's added in. We have a new Silver Beast. We have a new Silver Star, which is Team of the Week, Manu Sanchez. Okay. He is a 5'7", left-back, 3-star, three 3-star, three only a left-back. Hmm. I mean, he's not outstanding as a... As a card, and we don't have any other Spanish silver stars, I don't think, from memory. But yeah, he seems okay, it's nothing too special. But there we go, it's the normal three things for him win three, score eight, assist six. Silver Beast is the normal requirements, that's fairly straightforward. Uh, we will have a new, not first owner Fiesta, a new daily login upgrade, so we'll get an 84 plus player pack for that. Um, got nothing going on here. Did that come through? Oh, we've got one of those again, do we? Okay, that's cool. We'll do that in a second as well. Uh, we do not have an event and we do not have a new season. So we are still on what we are before. So let's go to the store first. Then we'll go to uh, Moments. Then we'll go to SPCs and see what is in SPCs. So, promo packs. Have they put any new ones in? They have not. Have they put any gold? No, they have not. The classics is the same. Season 3 items are still the same. And the set there, everything is the same in store. Nothing new there. So, moments. We've had Nesta and we've had Ledley King. So, we've got nothing new there at all. Cool. Let's go to SPCs. And then, obviously, we'll have a look at the team of the week after that see what is kicking in there. Oh, so we have a new icon, Petr Cech. So let's go there first. So the new icon, 91 Petr Cech. Three star week for at six foot five. He is obviously quite tall, quite good, quite solid. Cautious with crosses and a long throw. What is that going to cost us? Hopefully, yeah, gold and bronze and silver for the lowest. They both give tradable rare gold returns. 84, 85 and 86. To be fair, that's not bad for an icon, especially if you're a Chelsea and Arsenal fan. Um, whether you will get a better keeper from standard gameplay at this stage, that's entirely up to you. But, yeah, he is the latest icon added in. And what is his loan going to cost? It's going to be probably all gold, I reckon. All silver with a check. So that's easy. Should you want that. Um, so we go to live. What is new here? So Alex Fernandez is still there. Three days left on the Spanish midfielder. Bronze upgrade is in my favourites. 82 and 80, 80 plus from my favourites. These are also my favourites, the Winter League upgrades. So we've got 83 times 3 defenders. Now, have they got all of them? Yeah, midfielders, attackers, and the times 10. Okay, so it's an upgrade day today. We'll do the daily login because that will be a one a bronze player. Then we'll have a look at the other ones back there. Um, Prem. Thinking. Think, there we go. French, French, German, where we want an off league one. We'll go English League 4, that's fine. Cool, he is in. We will get a new one from that objective. So let's have a look. The 83 times 10 is the repeatable one, which we've done a couple of before, and yeah, it's still the same thing. So, 385 or higher required, and one team of the week with an 84 average rating overall. That's fairly... Okay, that was... Obviously, they've done it repeatable every 12 hours, so essentially, 
If it's 6 p.m. for you now in the evening, obviously it will restart in the morning at 6 a.m. And then you've got another 12 hours during the day to do it again to get another pack, another pack during the day. So, and uh, oh, from what we've had, like actually, let's put these three in my favourites. Uh, from the from the last time they did this, defenders, the midfielders, and the up, the attackers upgrade, they were not all the same cost. So let's have a look, see how they've done it this year. We have an 83 rated squad with 185. So essentially it's going to be 185, um, lots of 82s, and an 83, I think, to get the average up. Or a couple of 83s, I'm not sure exactly how many that will work. But, will the, was that the, that was the attackers, wasn't it? Yeah, 85 with an 83. Midfielders is going to be cheaper. 84 with an 83, okay. And then defenders, is that going to be slightly different or is it going to be similar? It's going to be the same as the midfielders, okay. And obviously this covers goalkeepers as well. This is all the midfielders and then this is the wingers and the strikers here. So that's what we have new today. There are no new player SPCs or objectives or milestones added in, it is an upgrade day. Uh, these are always worth doing, position modifier upgrades, just to save you cash should you need to uh, change people later on, but you've probably got quite a lot of them now. So, that's what we've got today, midfielder, defender, striker, and 83 uh, times 10. So let's complete this, open this, open a couple of the picks, see what we get, see if we get enough foddery stuff to put into those SPCs because those are the ones I'll be keeping for when the full team of the week team of the week team of the year drops whenever that will be two weeks time I think so we've got 80 plus rare gold from the milestone SPC that's going to be lights down that's not good that's going to be La Celso by the looks of it Martinez not tradable bye bye Thinking, right, so this 84 plus rare gold is from the objective, the daily login one. So lights up, standard, which nationality, it's going to be summer. 85 is okay. You kind of expect to get 84 and anything above that is a bonus. That will help with the SPCs, obviously, as it's an 85. Um, this was from the other SPC. Sorry, the upgrade, 82 plus. Lights up again. Again, always a good thing. It's going to be Bremer. Is that two 83s or an 83 and an 80? No. 81, yeah. Tradable, not tradable. And then I think I've got one at the far end. So that's 11 foot position. 25, 25, 25, 23. So we've got two 82 plus player packs. We'll open those two just to see what we get. And then we'll have a look at the team of the week. That's lights down. That's not good. That's going to be uh, Chan. Who is not a bad 80 rated card to be honest. 82 rated card. Sorry. And then the last one. And then we'll pop over to have a look at Dybala and friends. See what they're all like. Lights are up. What's this? Bono, nice. 84 will be useful for the SPC as well. To use the word fodder, it's still, that's basically what it is. So that's what we got in those upgrades. Let's go through to squad battles and see what's happening in the team of the week. So Thiago Silva at the front. He is the 88 rated player. Dybala at 88 as well. War Prowse 87, the pace is getting there, you can still Hunter or Shadow that, that will still be useful and decent, depending on how far forward you want to play him. Rashford, obviously, has got an 85 rating now, so that's a good card, with his goal-scoring pose for the weekend as well, I believe. Um, and Diata of Monaco, so let's view the full squad. So Ramsdale makes in goal. Another Arsenal 
related special cards. Back three is Le Is that Lejeune? That is. That's the ex-Newcastle defender. Um, so Florian Lejeune. Didn't know that. His stamina is awful. <laughs> Thiago Silva is there at 88. His stamina is not much better. His pace is certainly not much better, but his defending is very good. And the other one, we have a 87 Triore. He can only play right back, right wing back, but he has got very good pace, decent defending, physicals are solid, dribbling is pretty good, especially as a wing back, you'd expect that. Good at crossing, curve, etc. So he would be useful. And he's an 87 in form, of course, he's going to be useful. Diata is pace personified, lots of agility, stamina as well. That would be a useful card. Both midfields, only the right wing though. Four star, four star is nice as well. Good link with Ben Yedda. Four star, four star is James Ward Prowse as well. Perfect free kick accuracy, perfect curve, good shot power, good long shots. The passing is very good actually. Dribbling is solid too. The dribbling looks like an engine would be useful. That would certainly up his passing to near perfect as well. Good stamina, good aggression, decent defending, decent pace. The pace is the right way around. The acceleration is higher. Early cross, 13 player. No passing or vision or anything like that. But that's a good card. That's a handy card to have. Galliano is... Okay, nothing too special. Rashford, still the composure and the balance are a little low, but the rest is turning into a nice card as he gets upgrades of various... Before, and a striker as well, so that will prove to be useful. Just the you. Good shooting. Dribbling is terrible, and stamina and aggression are low. He'll be okay, he won't be that sought after though. But Dybala and um, Oshiman should be. He can play Cam and Striker as well. Again, reactions to composure are low, as we've said with this type of card. He looks good, but the reactions to composure hide where the, def uh, the downsides are, the deficits are. Not the best stamina either, but lots of traits. Flesh, finesse, flair, a sort of foot shot trait, etc. Good positions, but three-star weak foot as well. What's Osimhen going to be like? Four-star weak foot, high attacking work rate, good pace, good shooting, decent dribbling, probably an engine. Potentially, yeah, probably an engine on that. Good strength as well, power header. They're all, they're all moderate. I mean, Dybala looks good, Rashford looks good, well, Prowse looks good. Now the others are over-inspiring. Pepe Reina, not incredible with that 83. Class that's okay. Taram, he had a silver star last year. It's a solid, it's a solid card. 6 foot 4, high, high work rates as well. It's a very well-rounded card. Lots of stats in their 80s. Low 80 stats. In fact, is that? Yeah, his highest is strength 86. And the short party 86. He's got an awful lot in the high 80, in the low 80s. Robertone looks okay-ish. David will be useful. Lookman's okay. Pookie will be okay for championship teams. And then you're coming down to the ones that aren't that useful. And Guardiola again. So there we go. Quite a few premiership players. Um, four of them involved straight off. Rashford, Ward, Prowse, Thiago Silva and Ramsdale. Um, two French League, two Spanish League, two Italian League and a Portuguese. There we go. No Germans or... Um, no Germans at all. There we go. Right. We'll end the video there. Thank you for watching. That's what's new today. New Team of the Week. New Silver Star. New Silver Beasts. Division Rivals Rewards tomorrow. And lots of upgrades for people to get their teeth into. What do you think? Do you think that's a good upgrade to do? Do you think you're going to be doing the 83 pluses? I will be, but it will take a while because of the amount of um, players involved required. And they're repeatable. You could do them three times. 
I am not going to have enough fodder in my squad to be able to do them three times. I'll do a couple, but I don't think I'm going to have enough. We'll see. That's quite a feat to do them three times in two days. But with the rewards tomorrow morning, it might be doable. But we'll have a go. We'll have a look. Anyway, we'll leave it there. Thank you for watching. Hope you've had a good day today. Hope you have a good evening. Getting your wins under your belts. I've just sold somebody, Paul Torres. Um, other than that, we'll call it quits there. Thank you for watching. Speak to you tomorrow. All be well. And goodbye.